Good morning, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2017 on a 67 plate. It is the Kia Sportage 2 with the 1.7 CDTI engine fitted to it. Uh, this has just recently arrived in part exchange on a transporter that we've sold. <clears throat> it is, I have to say, not only in incredibly good condition, um, it's a incredibly well specced vehicle. I am very, very impressed by it. Um, now, uh, it's just going through a private plate change, which is why we've got no number plates sat on it at the moment. But those are arriving with us tomorrow, so uh, all will be good from that point of view. So, this is a three keeper from new vehicle. It has covered just short of 52,000 miles. It does have a really good service history with it, uh, recently serviced as well. Um, drives really, really well, has a really nice specification. Um, and the purpose of these videos, just so you know, is that we give you a warts and all video walk around of the vehicle so you get to see all of the good bits and all of the bad bits and you can make an informed decision whether this is the vehicle for you. Now, the vast majority of our customers will buy having watched these videos, leave a deposit and come and collect or leave a deposit and get the vehicle delivered to you. So those are a couple of options that you may want to think of. Um, now, let's get started on the video, shall we? I've kind of left the tray plates on the roof, so uh, let's, uh, let's just move those out of the way so you don't think I'm trying to hide anything. So, up there on the roof, as you can see, good all-round condition, no damage, no marks. It's all as you would expect. Coming down onto your windscreen, the windscreen is in good overall condition. There are no major stone chips or cracks. You will always get the odd little bit of micro chipping on a windscreen, but in overall really nice condition. Certainly nothing to worry about when it comes to MOT time, of which we will put 12 months on it before it goes out. Coming down to your bonnet, as you can see, the bonnet is also in good all round condition with no major stone chipping. And then coming down to the front of the vehicle, your front grills, front of the front bumper, etc., all in good order, no damage at all. Round to this side, your passenger side headlamp unit, that's all in good order. Now you do have auto lights on this vehicle. I think it's got auto lights, auto wipers. Your front fog lights, as you can see, those are in good order as well. And your front bumper corner is in good condition with no scuffing. If I get down on the creaky old knees, try and get my shadow out of the way and then look down the side profile of the vehicle on the passenger side from this angle, hopefully you can see no major dents or dings. In fact, there's no, mate, there's no dents or dings to point out to you. Very, very straight and tidy. Coming around to the driver's side, your driver's side headlamp unit also in good condition. Uh, quite a nice featured unit, aren't they, these things? Um, and then driver's side front bumper corner, again, good condition. Fog lights all in good order as well. And if we look down the driver's side profile of the vehicle from this angle, there are, again, no dents or dings to point out to you. Driver's side front wing, as you can see, that's all in good order. Your driver's side alloy wheel is in overall good condition as well. Uh, what do we have on there? We have a budget tyre fitted. That tyre has loads of tyre tread depth, as you can see there. Now, where we are with tyres, anything less than three millimetres, we replace the legal limit being 1.6. Your driver's side mirror unit with integrated indicators in good condition. Same with the mirror glass itself and also your driver's door glass. That is also in good order as well. Driver's side door itself, all good. And if I just stand back, give you a side profile shot of the vehicle, you can see that all the panels are lined up correctly. Um, all very nice and uh, very nice condition. Obviously the vehicle has been HPI checked. There are no um, uh, finance outstanding or uh, crash damage or anything like that on its start or recovery, nothing like that. Lower seals, as you can see, are in good order. Your little stone chip, so they all have these uh, little stone chip patches. They tend to get, you can get it on a lot of the commercials, you get a little bit of dirt behind them. It is just a clear protective film that helps to protect your panel there. So, you know, those are a little bit marked, but nothing major. You'll see that on every one you ever look at. Uh, driver's side rear door, that's all good. Door handles, as you can see, are good. Your door edges, those are all good with no damage. Rear handle, good. Rear handle door edges are good as well. And driver's side rear quarter, that is also in good order as well. Ala wheel, driver's side rear, again, has a matching budget tire to the front. Ala wheel itself is in good condition. 
and again plenty of tyre tread depth left on that tyre. Looking down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle, just giving you another viewpoint of the side of the vehicle. Very, very smart. Your rear bumper corner has no scuffing on it. Uh, you will notice it's got rear parking sensor. It does also have a rear camera as well. Your uh, rear reflector and reverse lights in good condition. The rear light unit driver's side is also in good condition. And then coming around to the driver's side, oh, sorry, to the rear of the vehicle. Obviously no number plate on it at the moment. We've sp spoken about that private number plate. Um, rear of the vehicle all good. We do have a Witter tow bar with a single electric uh, on there. And on the rear bumper itself, overall good condition. There are a couple of minor marks, which are kind of just a little bit of touching stuff. I have to say, really not at all that bad. And then your light unit going across the boot, as you can see, is in good order. Now, if we open up the boot, I am battling the sunlight today and the shadows it creates, but you can see inside, all looking good, no excessive wear. Inside the boot, your boot panels. In actual fact, the iPhone camera highlights marks that aren't massively visible to the naked eye, which is one of the dangers of using an iPhone camera to do the videos. If I try and get a shadow on the lens so you can see the inside, all good. Headlining, etc. all good back of the seats all looking good you do have your luggage carrier there obviously and then under here we have a space saver spare wheel with your jack uh, you do has this camera this car does have front and rear um, safety cameras fitted to it now those are an additional item we don't warrant those it's a next base system um, looks like it connects up to your telephone so it's quite handy that it's got them in there. If they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. But they're certainly powering up and they're showing images, so that shouldn't be an issue. Passenger side of the vehicle, again, all pretty good. Passenger side, rear light unit, good. Passenger side, rear bumper corner, all good with no damage. Get down on the knees and showing you another viewpoint down the side of the vehicle, you can see nothing particularly to point out to you. Alloy wheels on this side, again another matching budget tyre to the other two on the driver's side. Alloy wheel is also in good condition and that tyre has loads of tyre tread depth. Rear quarter this side all good. Uh, you got the little, little slight little bit of rear privacy on the back of these things. Rear door car, uh, sorry rear passenger door all good. Again same as the other side. Your little stone chip protector thing's got a bit of dirt behind it, but overall good condition. Your seals are all looking good, and your passenger side front door is all good. Let me stand back, give you a overview of the side of the car from this side. Again, all of your panels are lining up nicely, and it looks really respectable, doesn't it? Door edges, those are all looking good, as are your door handles. Door glass all good, mirror unit, those are all good as well. And then your passenger side front wing, that's in good condition. Alloy wheel this side again all good, and again you've got a matching budget tyre to the other three. So you've got four of the same make on there. <coughs> I suggest they all change at the same time. Tyre tread depth on that all looking good as well. So getting into the vehicle. Passenger door card this side, as you can see. Nice condition with no excessive wear or tear. Your door shuts, hopefully you can see, are nice and clean and tidy, as are your entry sills and plastics. Now this is where I'm gonna struggle a little bit today with the sunshine, but it's got rubber mats, proper Kia rubber mats. Carpet's all looking good. Back of the seats in overall good condition. They don't appear to have been kicked to death by any children. Headlining's all good. And then your Seat trim in the back, neat and tidy. No dodgy stains or smells. You do have ISOFIX on your outer seats. You do have your little armrest there with cup holders in. And we have a 12 volt power down there as well. Power the kids' gadgets whilst you're on the road. 
passenger door card. Again, overall good condition with no signs of excessive wear or tear. Door shuts on this side, again, very clean and tidy. And rubber mats this side, proper Kia units. Glove box with handbook packs, etc. in there. We've got a massive handbook pack in the office. Uh, air vents all looking good. Dashboard face is looking good. Top of the dashboard's all good. We move my camera out of the way so you don't think I'm hiding anything, but your passenger seat trim, as you can see, that is also in overall clean and tidy condition. In fact, again, the iPhone camera highlights more marks than you see to the naked eye. The naked eye, have a look at the pictures, there's no marks on there at all. iPhone camera, you can see a couple of minor marks. Um, so we'll get we'll get them wet vacked before we uh, before we're banging out the door, shall we? And then everybody is happy. Going round to the driver's side rear. The driver's side rear door card is also in clean, tidy condition. Entry sills and plastics on this side are good. Again, rubber mats on this side, just to show you under the rubber mats. Uh, those are all good as well. Back of the seat's good. And then driver's side, driver's side door card, all good. We have electric windows, electric folding mirrors as well. Door shuts this side are also clean and tidy, as are your entry sills and plastics. Again, rubber flooring on the front here. There's your bonnet release, I'll show you under there in a second. We have headlamp levelers, dashboard illumination, lane departure system and traction control on this side. The driver's side seat is in good order as well. No excessive wear or tear there. This handle does your seat height adjustment. As you can see, we have two remote control keys with it. It has done 51,915 miles. If I turn on the ignition, fire her up. Ticks over really nicely. There's no dashboard warning lights on there, only to tell us that the handbrake is on and I don't have my seat belt on. And I've also just opened up the bonnet as well. Um, but your instrument binnacle, as you can see, is in nice clean condition with no kind of excessive dust or scratches behind there. You've got a nice leather multifunction steering wheel of which you have your cruise control on this side, your drive information system on there as well. On this side, we have your telephone and your stereo controls. Looks like it's got some form of voice activation, but don't quote me on that, I haven't tried it. And then we have auto wipers, rear wiper, and then auto lights, indicators, front fog lights and rear fog lights on that stalk. Got this pretty cool touchscreen system over here. So you've got DAB, FM and AM. You've got Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. You also have factory navigation. If I engage reverse gear, you get your rear camera and there you can see your tow bar should you need to get up to the trailer. Um, and you also, I believe, have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on it as well. Hazard warning lights are on here. You have your manual buttons for your stereo, although it is touchscreen as well. And then you have climate control with air conditioning, or sorry, I should say just air conditioning. Um, oh no, there's climate as well, so. Uh, we have USB powers down here, 12 volt powers, etc. as well. Um, auto stop start parking sensors, and looks like you've got some kind of hill descent system there as well. And then you've got a six speed manual gearbox, reverse gear to the left and forward. Cup holders all good. Handbrakes all good, in between your seats are nice and clean. The vehicle is very nice and clean and tidy. It isn't, uh, it came in like this, it's just had a really quick valid to be fair. Uh, rear view mirror is auto dim, and then your internal uh, lights and uh, the all important sunglasses holder there as well, ladies and gents. Uh, let's show you under the bonnet. Ticking over nicely as you can hear. And then we have coolers, correct colour coolers up here. There's no contamination in there either. It's all looking good. Brake fluid's all looking nice and clean as well. Fuse boxes over here. There's your battery, your air intake, and uh, obviously your oil dipstick is there. Windscreen wash is here. On it stays here on the left-hand side. And as you can see, it's really neat and tidy underneath the bonnet. Your Bonnet bolts are original paintwork, just shows you it's not had any uh, panels off on the front end. And that, my friends, is about it. So there's about 15 minutes of your life you're never going to get back here. But if you are interested in this vehicle, it gives you an honest appraisal of what she's all about. 
Um, feel free to check us out online. We have reviews, Google, Facebook, link, uh, LinkedIn, Instagram. Um, feel free to have a look at our photos. There's 60 to 70 photos of this vehicle on our website, which is vanstoday.com. Um, and that is about it. If you like the video uh, and you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest purchases, then feel free to like and subscribe. And we upload the video walkarounds of all of our vehicles to this channel. Thanks for looking. If we can be of any further help, feel free to give us a call. 01905 672 080. Cheers.